What have we called this? Is this Movies with Will and Chris? <laughs> I forgot what we call this. <laughs> I forgot to. Hey, anyway, before we begin, uh, to, my name is Chris Griffin. I'm the morning show host of 1450 KMMS 1340 KPRK. I'm Will. I'm the afternoon DJ for 96.7 KISS FM. And before we begin our favorite Christmas movies of all time, I do have a joke for you, Will. I can't wait to hear this. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Rumored it's going to become the biggest movie of all time. That is possible. December 18th, it's in theaters only, as they're so happy to tell you on the television. Um, if Buck, our office dog, has, was a character in Star Wars The Force Awakens, what is the name of his character? Chewbacca. Chewbacca! Did I guess that right? Chewbacca! <laughs> Do you want to start with your selection? Yeah, okay, so we decided to go with our, because, you know, it's almost Christmas time, to talk about what's our favorite Christmas movie. And my choice, a lot of people will be surprised about this, is White Christmas, the 1954 musical classic with Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, who it actually is George Clooney's great aunt. I absolutely love that movie. Me and my family watch that movie every single Christmas, and I adore it. Nostalgia aside, White Christmas is a, well... I guess a heart tearing uh, piece of nostalgia. It's absolutely an awful film. The, the plot is implausible. Where can you leave New York City to go to Vermont to find a barn that is that big enough to hold a musical that they actually perform? It's called All of Vermont. All of Vermont has barns that big. No, I've lived in Vermont. No. No, they don't. I feel sorry that you lived in Vermont. <laughs> What? Well, what's Vermont's your, a crazy what's, thing. What's, what's your movie? I you haven't said anything. I go with a Christmas story. Okay. Because who has not wanted a Red Ryder BB gun? Although mine was a Daisy BB gun. Who has not spent Christmas Day at a Chinese restaurant? I have. Who has not challenged their friend to put their tongue on the pole? Because we... I don't know, because I grew up in Montana. We all knew that was the dumbest thing you could do. But it's but she's funny like... and based in reality. I actually had the lamp, the leg lamp at one time, and there's a museum right in Cleveland, Ohio, the original do, house. Do, do you pronounce fragile fragile? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing is, yes, the Christmas story, I mean, there's so many iconic like, iconic Christmas movies. Iconic. And here's the thing, a Christmas story is iconic. I mean, you can watch it for 24 hours straight on TBS every single year, but it does get old after a while. But I mean, that does not diminish it. Because honestly, like the kid, you're just like, oh, I really hope he gets this Red Ryder Beaver gun. But after a while, you're just like, I really hope he doesn't get it. He's kind of a whiner. Because He's you'll kind put of your a eye out. You'll Whereas put your White eye White Christmas has a great story. It's about all these people coming together for their former general, their former commanding officer. And it is a beautiful heart-wrenching story and I mean the music the dancing it is a classic film Bing Crosby when you think of the song White Christmas you think of Bing Crosby because he no, is don't. so iconic <laughs> I do because I think he's one of the most iconic singers uh, singer, singers actor, yes actor no <laughs> he's a great actor too you, no 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 honorable mentions do get uh, It's a Wonderful Life Miracle on 34th Street Home Alone Bad Santa <laughs> Bad Santa is also great Die hard. <laughs> Don't forget, leave your comments below. Like and subscribe. Make sure you guys, and next time, we'll maybe choose a more fun, maybe best comedy. Wait, have we done best comedy? I can't no, remember. No. But we'll do something more fun for our next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.